Did Dungeons & Dragons just abandon some of the biggest changes in the one d and playtest? They blew it up! How could this happen? A new Unearthed Arcana is coming out tomorrow with what appears to be major rollbacks to plan changes in character creation and classes. So that leaves many fans to wonder, what exactly is the point of these 2024 core rulebooks if we're just getting more of the same? And speaking of leaving, why not leave us a like and subscribe while we explain exactly what is going on with the new Unearthed Arcana playtest. Now, in a video posted today, Dungeons & Dragons' Jeremy Crawford announced some massive revisions to how character creation will be handled in the next Unearthed Arcana. Now, this playtest will include looks at seven classes, including our first look at the Monk, and multiple subclasses for each of those classes. Now, some of the biggest changes uh, that were previewed in this video uh, include the big capstone ability for each class getting moved back to level 20. Uh, you may recall in previous playtests, uh, that big capstone ability was given at level 18 with level 20 reserved for an epic boon feat that players could choose. The game also appears to be abandoning their standardized subclass progression, save for the fact that no class will have access to their subclass builds until level 3. Now, earlier playtests played around with the idea that character class progressions would be standardized, meaning that all classes would learn either a class ability or a subclass ability when reaching the same level. For instance, previous playtests featured character classes that earned subclass features at level 3, level 6, level 10, and level 14. Now, in the video, Crawford mentioned that the standardized character progression caused an unintended quote-unquote ripple effect that caused the design team to return to the original format. However, Wizards will be retaining one part of their planned new character progressive changes. That is, all subclasses will get their first subclass feature at level 3. Frankly, it's a bit of a worst of both worlds rollback, which had fans spamming the video comments and also commenting on Reddit demanding that D&D put the standardized subclass progression back in the game. In fact, the feedback on standardizing the subclass progression levels seemed to be almost overwhelmingly positive, at least now, with many players quite frankly stunned as to why D&D would just abandon the feature. Now, once again, Crawford mentioned that the standardization created an unintended ripple effect, which probably means that they realized that none of the old 5e subclasses would be as backwards compatible, which is you know, repeatedly been a feature of these 1D&D changes uh, as uh, the design team thought. Of course, we all knew that already, but it looks more and more like we're just getting tweaks to the core features instead of an overhaul. And of course, if we knew that, the D&D design team knew that. So something has changed in their theory about what these 2024 core rulebooks be. Huh, I wonder if there was something that happened earlier this year that may have caused that. Epic boons are also gone for now with capstone abilities getting moved back to effectively take their place. Although, we will note that Crawford mentioned that they'd be taking another look at epic boons in a future Unearthed Arcana, so we still might make them make some kind of comeback in the 2024 Player's Handbook. Now, the strange thing about all of this was, there was no official feedback about uh, the standardized subclass progression, which makes their decision to wipe it out without consulting the community, who, you know, frankly, seem to love the new system, at least if you read the internet today, uh, extremely arbitrary. Now, this Unearthed Arcana will also get a new look at spells, with at least one new, brand new spell, and also a new look at some tweaks to the weapon mastery system, which thankfully has been well received and seems to be sticking around, unless, you know, uh, Wizards decides to drop that too. Now, the new Unearthed Arcana officially comes out tomorrow, and fans are bracing themselves for more revisions and more reversals once the document actually goes live. Uh, for now, the major rollbacks have left many feeling like D&D is just going in reverse, with just a year left before the new 2024 core rulebooks arrive. And a lot of people are wondering, uh, are these 2024 core rulebooks just the 2014 core rulebooks with, uh, you know, some tweaks, a little bit of a nip, a little bit of talk, some plastic surgery done? What exactly was going on here? So what do you think of all the major rules rollbacks in the new Unearthed Arcana playtest? Let us know in the comments, and as always, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons.